Thanks, Listen, Corda. And Minister, it's good to see you here, our, t our Taoiseach. Uh, don't normally see you here for your statements. Uh, you usually um, have scanned the place before then. Oh, you're going already, are you? Oh, come on. Hey, sit down for a minute. Hey, come here, sit down for a minute. Come on. Come on, sit down. Please. Man, I won't kill you to sit down. What are you like? Um, oh, God help us. Anyway, listen, um, the notion that this government is Brexit ready, um, and listen, I, I've said all along that if things worked out well for Brexit, I wouldn't give you the credit. If it worked out bad, I actually wouldn't blame you, because it would really depend on the Brits anyway, as to what they do, right? But uh, well, what's happening with Rossdale Port is a serious indictment on your government. And uh, for the want of me, I, I just don't understand why you haven't taken a more rational position. Uh, a few months ago, Pascal came in here uh, and he announced 587 million for infrastructure in ports in Dublin, Cork and Shannon to enhance national and international connectivity. But nothing for Rosslare Europort, which is the closest port to mainland Europe, right? Now, I mean, Maybe you're being dictated to the private entities involved, and the fact that Irish ferries have uh, decided that there's more, better money to be made elsewhere is obviously, that's their business. They're a private entity, they're not, not even remotely Irish, right? But you're the ones who allow it happen. You're the ones who don't control any of the boats coming in, and in actual fact, you don't even control the port. Irish Rail and uh, an entity in Britain uh, control the port, and you have done nothing about changing uh, the ownership of it. It's an absolute disgrace it is. The Taoiseach uh, talked about Ross Lair needing infrastructure investment here uh, a couple of weeks ago. I mean, come on, it needs infrastructure investment. It needs infrastructure investment for a long time. And I could forgive you for finding it difficult to listen to the Labour Party now. The Labour Party, who were in government for five years and watched Ross Lair Port go down the Swanee in that time, watched as, your, as that Fine Gael Labour government uh, looked to privatise as much as they possibly could. I mean, oh God help us anyway. But I mean, this, the whole attitude is wrong and it's one of the reasons why Ross Lair is in the bad place it is, right? I mean, uh, I heard that the Department of uh, Transport are due to meet Irish ferries to discuss the announcement. Now, uh, you could be cynical and think that uh, Irish ferries uh, are negotiating a position where they can get a better deal uh, for Burton charges in Rosslea, but it probably isn't, doesn't even go that far. Uh, I mean, for the life of me, I don't understand why Rosslea hasn't been developed into a strategic harbour a long time ago. I don't understand why the last successive governments didn't do it. This government, with the Independence Alliance and Fine Gael, the last one with Fine Gael Labour, you've totally ignored Ross Lair. You've actually totally ignored Wexford. It's like as if the place doesn't exist. It's like as if you only care about running a country that involves Dublin. And with uh, minuscule uh, crumbs thrown in a few directions, and one of them, Wexford isn't one of them, we have the highest unemployment rate in the country today. We have the highest suicide rate for four years running. We have the third highest teenage pregnancy rate. We have one of the lowest education achievement rates. And what's happening about it? Who's doing anything about it? There's no one doing anything about it. How can you get away with this? You obviously feel you can get elected again. And uh, will Michael Darcy and Paul Kehoe get elected in the election, next election? Yeah, I think they probably will. But I mean, that's what guides your principle. It's nuts, nuts it is. It's totally unfair. It's not the way to run a country. There is no rationale in how this country is run in terms of how you have abandoned regional Ireland. The provinces have been let to go to hell. I mean, if you wanted to do things right, there would be a far more even distribution of everything in this country. Instead of, we are now probably the most centralised country in the whole of Europe. And if you're not within 50 kilometres of Dublin, you're not at the races. And every country, including the last Concordia's country, county, is feeling it. It's just nonsense. And nothing is changing. It's a joke. How can you, how can you stand over it? I know you said get re-elected. 
How can you stand over? Do you not care about how this country is run? Do you not care about the fact that we have the highest suicide rate in the country in in Wexford for the last four years? Does it matter? And Rosslare Port is part of that. It's going to be a huge blow to Rosslare Port that you have not given a damn about it. Irish Rail don't give a damn about it. In fact, they took two and a half million profits out of it last year. Well, I, I'd like a rationale. And the minister, the Taoiseach can disappear and not listen to what we have to say, and he can live on spin and on, on Twitter, and he thinks he can get away with it. Maybe he will. But you know what? It'll be time to leave this country and turn off the lights if the country keeps going down the way it's going. Jack the